What is going on guys, it's Rava here, welcome back to some more Blightfall. Now last time we left off, we fought with Gaia twice actually. Uh, the first time, we were just kind of getting a feel for him, you know, seeing how we're able to fight him, see what the fight is all about and all that stuff. Second time around, we got a we much better weapon. And uh, we, we got decently close, he was about, about half health or something. But we also learned that we need to try and avoid those like pixie things or something so i think this time around i'm a bit more prepared i got some comments uh saying that i should get the notch apple that i have and i have a few regular golden apples some uh some things of milk some uh, milk bottles which should be able to clear any like withering effects and i even have a potion of strength healing regeneration and even a couple more that i got from the floating city so I think we should be good to go. Also, switched out my uh, chest plate for the flux infused one because I think that might be a little bit better. I'm not 100% sure. So, without any further ado, let's just start the ritual of Gaia once more and see, <laughs> see if we're actually prepared enough to take him on and beat him. So, let's see. Anyways, so I did get a comment, by the way. If you're wondering why I have two Terra Steel in my inventory, I, I got a comment saying to request a Ghast tier and throw it into a mana pool and that will give you two Ender Pearls for the price of negative five Mission Outlook, which is the same price as one Ender Pearl from the supplier. So I think I think it's a pretty fair trade getting two Ender Pearls instead of just one for negative five Mission Outlook. I also have a Notch Apple. Someone told me about that. Like I said, uh, four Golden Apples, just regular ones. Potion of Strength, which I plan on using immediately. Hopefully I do extra damage. Potion of Healing for emergencies. The Milk is also for emergencies. And we have a Potion of Regen for emergencies as well. So, whew. All right, let's get ready. Let's just summon him in. Let's eat the Golden Apple, the Notch Apple. Let's get the Potion of Strength. And hopefully we can get some hits on him. There we go, got one hit too. Oh, oh, got dumb Pixie. There we go, three hits. Getting some good hits on him, though, four. Not bad. I assume he's going to be sending some pixies at me like that one. Yep, there you go. And he's going to be teleporting all over. Oh, there you go. One more hit on him. Nice, nice. Getting some good hits on him, though. Killing his pixies. I, I, I think I'm supposed to kill... I, I don't know if I'm supposed to kill the pixies or not, but they seem to be what, what what are doing the actual damage to me. You know, instead of the actual... Oh, there you go. Oh, man, yeah. He's, he's real low on health right now. Sheesh. What? Man. Anyways, oh, man. We're getting withered hard. Holy, okay, sheesh, we almost died right there. Let's get ourselves a regular golden apple. Okay, oh my god, he just threw a pixie like red, oh my god. What is happening now? I don't know, I'm taking a health potion now. <laughs> oh, we zombies and skeletons and, okay. Okay, well, we, we, we could fight these, they, uh, we should be able to one-shot them. Where are these skeletons going? I think they're going to the shade because of their AI. Oh wait, a spine zombie? I killed a spine zombie, nice. Okay, we need to keep on kill these things with our scales and let's get ourselves a potion of regen so we can actually regenerate a little bit better zombies scale fellas over there keeping their distance smart but they are burning in the daylight so there they go <gasps> witch oh let's kill the witch get ourselves another golden apple come on we need to heal up fast 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 god a bunch of scale fellas oh they're fighting each other skeletons are fighting each other zombies are f oh wait kill the kill the witch there we go Whew. skeletons are dying there you go oh he's back down he's back down oh Oh, oh, no, 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 go Apple, go Apple, no, we're dead! Oh my, oh wait a second, he's dead too! Oh! We d <laughs> did- Did we just kill each other at the same time? I think we did! I think we did! Teleport, let's- <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, I th I th we just got the achievement, I think, for killing him. I think one of my pixies did it! I think it- Oh, okay, let, let's see. <laughs> Is there- is there like loot on the ground? Possibly? <gasps> oh, there's those things, the pixie dust or whatever it's called. Not the pixie dust. Uh, the, the Gaia stuff. What is it called? The Gaia spirits. We did it. And we got the achievement too. Where, 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 where is that achievement? Minecraft Batania. Here it is. Where is that? There it is right there. Dead and seek. Next up is the heart shear and I could take off my redacted. Use life aggregator to transport a monster spawner. Ooh. Ooh, we could transport a monster. We could probably bring it back to the bottom alpha from the from bottom epsilon. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Life aggregator. That's what it's called. Okay. Uh, summon and slay a Gaia guardian for a ritual of Gaia. Ooh, we actually did it, you guys. 
I didn't, I didn't think we'd be able to kill him on the first try. Well, the first try back, that was technically our third try. Third time's a charm. Man, that was crazy, though. Uncommon treasure, I guess some of those mobs we killed must have gave us those. Uh, <gasps> an ender pearl and a diamond. And some gold coins. Don't really care about the gold coins, though. But uh, ender pearl, not bad. Got ourselves a miniature red heart, or a uh, yellow heart, too. So I think we have, like, two or three of those. So we should be able to extend our life by... Three more hearts or something. Man, that was crazy. That was so close. We, I died, and then I think my pixie came and, and like came off my chest plate or well, not my chest plate because I have the, the the flux infused thing, and then it killed him. So that is just insane. What luck is that? <laughs> Anyways, what are we gonna do now? I, I, I guess we can just go back to bottom alpha and, and work on some other stuff because I don't I don't want to do the uh, the ritual of Gaia two anytime soon because ritual of Gaia was already really hard so doing the ritual of Gaia number two I assume is going to be much much harder than that one was <laughs> anyways uh, bottom alpha there you go oh man how crazy so, so what what do you use these spirits for again like what are the usages golden laurel crown equipable equipable amulet. Ooh, Charm of the Diva. Another equipable, uh, I guess you can make like bits and bobbles with this thing. <gasps> there it is right there, the life aggregator. Oh, wait a second. Guy Spirit. Wait, what's this dragon stone again? Is that the, what is that? How do you get that again? Uh, I think you, I think I remember it, isn't it? Like, uh, I don't know, it looks like the Lex Capitania. I guess we have to go over here to get it because I put all my stuff into this chest. All the stuff I didn't need, at least. <laughs> okay, well, let's put all the uh, extra stuff up uh, inside of the ME terminal and glass bottles. Man, we drink a lot of milk there. Not bad. Uh, extra potions, we can put those up as well. Sugar, blah, blah, blah. And five zombie heads, that's good. Zombie brains, miniature yellow heart, and a pearl diamond, gold coin. We don't have any diamonds, by the way. I, I used the last of my diamonds to make the uh, the second Terra Steel ingot, which we might as well put up as well, guys. Spear, I'll put that up as well. And yeah, I'm feeling great. Oh wait, yeah, we didn't use that much milk bottles. <laughs> we only used like three or four of those. Go now, I'll put that up as well. And let's go grab our other stuff from over here. <laughs> let's look at the uh, Lexi Capitania. Let's find out what you get that Dragonstone thing from. It... Isn't it? I thought I saw it in here. Maybe it's something else. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see. Ritual of Gaia. We already did that. Uh, Relics of Aesir. No. Resources of... A I thought it was here, wasn't it? No? Let's see, uh, what is it called again? Dragonstone? I thought I saw that Dragonstone in there. Hmm. Okay, well, let's look it up in here again. Dragonstone. Yeah, there it is right there. Block of Dragonstone. Oh, a man up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Did not, why is that not in here? Was it, did I just pass it or something? Because... Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, it was like cycling through. A block of mana diamond, or a mana diamond will give you a block of dragon stone, or a dragon stone. <laughs> okay, well that makes sense. I was wondering because the icon for this thing is a dragon stone itself, so that was, <laughs> that'd be kind of weird if it didn't give you one. Anyways, let's grab the extra stuff we have in front. Yeah, let's grab your tools, a little bit of paper, a uh, thalmanomicon, and bloodwood pick, sword, shovel, and lumber axe. Nice. Okay, well, let's eat a little bit of food, and I think... I think what I want to make next is Thomcraft. I, I think we want to get back to uh, actual like cleaning up taint and stuff. And for a while, people have been saying, hey, make the Dawn Machine. Is that what it's called, Dawn Machine? It's been a little while since I've been in the Thomcraft. <laughs> but here it is right here, Th the Dawn Machine. You get a totem of Dawn, you put it in the infusion altar thing over there with one redstone energy flux duct, which I think we have a few of those probably. Aluminum gear, two of those, two signalium gears, ooh, and redstone energy flux duct, and an energy and engineering processor. I can't even speak English, <laughs> but we read this thing a while ago, and it's really good. Uh, apparently, it'll clean taint, like for energy, like for energy cost. It'll clean a lot faster, and you can even upgrade it to clean like a larger radius as well. And it has like a built-in uh. Uh, chunk litter as well, so that's really cool. I was thinking about applying that thing, or uh, making that thing and applying it to the ship. Because if we could just fly around with the ship, then we could just move around and it's basically a big floating tank cleaning machine. So if we can make that, then oh my god, we're going to be so 
good at cleaning taint. <laughs> but it did require sanguinite and luminite, I think. Let's see, lumin luminite, or what was it again? I know it, oh, got Lexic Britannia. What did it start with again? Lumium. Let's see, what is uh, Lumium? Lumium. Like, how do you get it? Is it a, uh... Yeah, I don't think it's a... What is it called again? Where you come... Oh, wait, no, I guess it is. Pulverized tin. Oh, oh, energized glowstone bucket. Silver, tin. Is that it? Because, yeah, you just put glowstone into the magma crucible. Surely it can't be that cheap. And I, and I say cheap, of course, because I do know of probably a half dozen or so or, uh, sanguinite ores over at the volcano. Uh, actually, that way. <laughs> but the only problem is none of our picks are powerful enough stream to, uh, to mine it. So we need to get an extreme level pick. And I don't know what we should make. We could make a mandolin pickaxe. And I know I got some comments about uh, people being super upset about me making an obsidian uh, cleaver made out of completely obsidian when all I needed was just a blade to be made out of obsidian or something like that. I don't know. But people were upset. <laughs> Anyways, is there anything uh, decently cheap that we can make this out of that we probably have a decent amount of already? Vulcanite? Maybe. Uh, Manlin hammer. Hmm. Dark steel. Oh, it's just repeating. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Void pickaxe. Ooh. How do you get that? Void nugget things? How do you get those void? Hold on. Tabula rasa. Okay, let's look at uh, the, the void pickaxe. I think I might have seen it, actually. Is it in the Apocryphia? Is it in this? Alright guys, I did a little bit of research, and I know how to make the Void Pickaxe now. It's pretty obvious, because it was in the, uh, inside of this thing this whole time. We have to make these Void Metal Nuggets, and you make those in the Cauldron, or the, uh, the, what's it called, the Crucible? But, it requires, like, Tenebre, and Vacuos, and Alienus, and all that stuff, and that, that's just to make one of those little Nugget things. And of course, you're going to need nine of those to make one ink, and then three ingots to make a pickaxe. So, I don't know if it's worth it. I think it might be worth it, more worth it, to make a mail and pickaxe. And then we'll be able to, you know, customize it and get some levels for it. And it'll be able to customize itself, level it up, get some more modifiers and stuff like that. So, I think we're just going to make a mail and pickaxe head. How much does a pickaxe head require? Uh, just one. Oh, just one ingot? R really? Is it? Huh. Wait, what is this? Pokefenium? Seems like Madeline is probably the best one. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Let's go get some of the Ardite and stuff. And, uh, what's it called? Cobalt. And pulverize those down. Put them inside of the induction smelter. And let's get ourselves some Madeline, shall we? <laughs> Anyways, oh, yeah, there, there was, uh, I was making golden apples there before the episode. What was I doing? Uh, Madeline. Ardite. Let's see. Let's see. So this is still an ore form. So, Cobalt. So, yeah, we already have cobalt dust. So, uh, what can get us the most ardite? That way we get the more, most bang for our buck. It looks like rich slag with that. I think we already discussed this last episode. Yeah, rich slag. And two from that. Yeah. Do we have rich slag? So, yeah, we have two rich slag, actually. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might just want to use one. Okay, let's, let's let's just use one. Uh, you have to use it over here in the induction smelter. There we go. All right, or there you go. Let that process. So you have the cobalt. I think it's just one cobalt. One Ardai equals one mandolin. And oh wait, yep, there you go. And we're going to need to pulverize one of those. Get ourselves a pulverized gold. Put that up. Put that up. And let's put this inside of the induction smelter. Put that inside of the induction smelter as well. Uh, oh wait, isn't it two Ardai for one? Uh, two Ardai, one cobalt. Is it that way? Uh. How do you make mandolin again? <laughs> mandolin. Because it's been a little while since I've made mandolin, so... Excuse my ignorance here. No, no, no. Oh, it's in a crafting... Not in the... Huh. Okay, so I was kind of right, but you didn't do it in the crafting table. There we go. <laughs> Alright, well, now we have one mandolin dust. Of course, all we need to do now is... Actually, is there a way for me to get... Oh, wait, what? Medassium plus mandolin equals pulverized gold. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> that sounds like a waste. Yeah, uh, 144, that's one ingot. Yeah, I think, yeah, you're not able to get, like, double the mandolin out of this. So let's smelt it, get ourselves one. Actually, I probably should have just thrown this thing inside of the, uh, the smeltery. 
But let's go downstairs. Throw us inside of the smeltery and I, I guess figure out what we're going to do next. There's still some obsidian there. I don't think it's going to combine with the obsidian, so let's just put that inside of there. Grab the pickaxe head. Cast? What's that? Infused crops. I don't know if I uh, unlocked that on camera, but I suppose I could do the research for it uh, in a bit. Let's grab our other ingot cast. Let's put that. That's not it. <laughs> let's put that there. Is mailing done? Uh, oh, it's halfway. Whew, that is taking a while. I can already see the mailing like melted right there. Is that done yet? No, still not done. <laughs> so, uh, what else are we going to make this out of? I think paper, people have always been saying, hey, paper will give you more modifiers. So, what if we made the, uh, what is it called, that little cross, that this thing, the, the, the binding. I know it's not tough binding, but it's regular binding. What if we made the binding out of paper? We should have, yeah, we have literally a paper in our inventory, so <laughs> should be able to make that no problem. And there is our Manilin pickaxe head. Noise, beautiful, scrum diddly umptious. So, we can make that out of paper. I don't know if I want to make the handle out of paper, but uh, making the whole thing out of mandolin, I, I know you can do that, but I, I don't know if I want to. So, let's go over here, let's get our stencil table, let's get the tough binding. There, there it is, right there, tool, tool binding. Go to here, get some paper. Uh, there you go, paper binding. Parts can be replaced. All right. Don't really care about that too much. <laughs> let's put that up. And let's start building this thing. Oh yeah, we need to get the uh, the handle. Whoops. <laughs> what do we want to make the handle out of? Do we have any extra tool rod? Yeah, we have some extra stone tool rods, but... I guess uh, we do have extra obsidian down there. Let's make it out of obsidian. Might as well. It's going to make it pretty tough, I think. So uh, it's not going to be the biggest deal in the universe. Just do it out of obsidian. That's going to be half of an ingot right there. Look at that. There you go. Put that back up. And whoops, that's my mana thing. <laughs> I don't need to put that up. So we're going to have a... And it, it kind of goes along with the purple we have. Even though the mandolin purple is a little bit darker. The uh, the obsidian purple is a little bit uh, like a more of a lavender. Wait, whoa, what was that accent right there? Lavender. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Mandolin pickaxe head. And there you go. It's writable. We have two modifiers on it. Instead of just one, I assume we just have one. If we had like any other binding on it. So we have two modifiers. Durability 768. Not the biggest deal in the universe, because this is going to be a specialty uh, a specialty pickaxe for getting uh, Sanguinite, and I think there's another thing down there that was extreme, so let's just make this thing. There you go. Hopefully the people in the comments that uh, that are like Tinker's Construct pros are hopefully a little bit happier with me now. <laughs> now that I finally made a tool that wasn't all just one material. Anyways, let's go to the, uh, where are we going? Volcano. Let's go to the volcano. We need to go over here. And let's go find ourselves some Sanguinite. Hashtag. Well, I, I was about to say hashtag self Sanguinite, but that, <laughs> that makes no sense. Anyways, there is, of course, that cave entrance over here. Where is that at? What is that? Oh, there's like... That's like taint, like, <laughs> going up into the sky. That's not good. Uh, is our wand full? Yeah, it is. Oh, nice. Where is the... Oh, here it is right here. It got completely covered in taint again. Man, this, this taint spreads super quick. Quick, quick, quick. And I was just going inside of here. Oh, what is that up here? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go over here, though. Why is there lava? Oh, wait a second. Wait, what? Is this the right entrance? Or is this the entrance I need? Yeah, this isn't it, is it? Yeah, I don't think it is. Yeah, <laughs> we're in a completely different entrance. This is not it. We need to go to... I guess, yeah, down here. Where would this entrance be, though? Because that's where the way, the waypoint is. Hmm. Where in the world am I going? I don't think it was this cave. Although, I guess I guess we could go into it. Uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, okay. It sends me into this general area anyways. Okay, not not a big deal. <laughs> Let's just keep going down, down, down. And we need to go down. Go into this hole. Oh, uh, yeah. Not that one. This one. <laughs> and there's a lot of nether rack here. I don't think there's any sanguinite there. But I think I went even deeper. Like, I think down here. Just kind of following the torches, mainly. <laughs> oh, yeah. This thing right here. Adamantine. Ooh, we can mine it now. I, I mined one of it accidentally with my flux infused pick, and then I was like, oh wait, it didn't drop anything. And then I, then I finally realized, oh, it's because it's extreme level. EXTREME! <laughs> Anyways, let's see. What else is around here? Did I dig this? I guess I might have mined some sort of ore. Ah, uh, where else did I go? I'm trying to remember here. Oh, 
I think I went up here and then this, yeah, here we go. I remember this now. <laughs> yeah. This little crevice I dug around here. Uh phosphorite. I don't think I need that trash. Is there anything else around here? I know there's sanguinite. A really good amount of sanguinite. And I did lose or I, I ran out of like what are they called? V for my wand? Or my staff or whatever this thing is, scepter? Yeah, I think it's a staff because the scepter's a little bit smaller. But I did run out of that down here, so uh oh, this is it. Sanguinite ore. So it's not quite as clean as it could be. There we go. We got another sang. Oh, and there it is right there. Another sanguinite. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Alright, let's grab the uh, the flex and fuse pick and see if there's any more sanguinite hiding out in this little general area. I don't think so. How much sanguinite are we gonna I think it's four per thing. We're gonna need two of those cogwheel things, those gears. So uh, what can we do with sanguinite to get hopefully get like double? We can put it inside the pulverizer, use rich slag to get triple sanguinite. And I think we figure out, uh, we can get rich slag by getting redstone ores with the, uh, what is it called? Silk touch. I can almost never remember that. <laughs> well, we can use a uh, silk touch. Yeah, I already got that. Get some redstone ore. There's another sanguinite right there. It's just kind of out in the open. There's, oh my god, there's like th two or three of them. Yeah, there's two of them right there. Oh, mind if I do. Redstone down there, though. Do we have our uh, silk touch on us? I don't, I don't know if we do. Is it in our backpack? Ah, uh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm so glad we have that. Okay, let's fly down here. Just a little bit of redstone. Let's grab the redstone. It might be worth it. All right, let's break this. Let's grab the redstone. I don't know how much redstone ore I have. There we go. Whew. All right, more sanguinite over here, it looks like. Oh, pretty good amount. Not bad. I think, uh, even if we don't use rich I think we might have enough. Because there's even more here. And what is, what is this one? Oh, that's Vulcanite. I, I guess I might have... I uh, didn't even see that or something, because I could get that. No problem. It's alien level, so I should have gotten it with my Flux and Fuse pick. I don't know why I didn't get it. Uh, anything else around here? Here's that abandoned mine I saw. Uh, Super Diamond. Yeah, I could be able to get that, but uh, I, I think I was running out of inventory space or something. That's why I didn't get some of these ores. There's a Zambam Bibbly down there, though. <laughs> we need to steer, stay clear of that guy. How much Sanguite do we have now, though? Uh, we're up to 8, and if we triple that, we're up to 24, and we only need to use 8 to get that gear, I think, so I'm just trying to- oh my god, diamonds. Oof, let me grab those, hater. Get those with the, uh, the silk touch pick. We're gonna be able to get tri triple diamonds or double- yeah, double diamonds. Not bad, this is a really good diamond ore right here. Oof. Man, I am so glad I found this cave in the volcano area. If you guys are dry on minerals, no matter what type, apparently, and you have the, the means of obtaining them, like a really good pick, a high level pick, then hey, come to the volcano. The coordinates are on the screen right now. There's a ton of stuff here. <laughs> but uh, I, I, th I think I've got a pretty good amount of stuff. Let's just grab a little bit of a extra redstone as much as possible, trying to up our chances of getting as much rich slag as possible. And I think we just head back home and hopefully be able to make those gears and hopefully be one step closer to getting that, uh, what's it called? Day machine something? What's it called? Dawn machine. I think it's called Dawn machine or something. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to pause the recording, head back home, and I will see you guys here in a bit, and we can get started on making that, uh, that Dawn machine or whatever it's called. <laughs> I'll see you guys here in a second. Alright guys, I am back, and oh man, I'm like really hungry. When did that happen? Jeez. <laughs> I guess because I was getting tainted and stuff. Getting, uh, getting that flux food, I think is what it's called. Anyways, eat a little. Wait, what am I eating right now? Eggplant? Ugh! Let me get out of this. Switch out to this other backpack. There you go. Hopefully some fresher foods. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Alright, anyways. Uh, what are we doing? Put redstone up inside of here? Yep. I think, uh, let's just confirm it again. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the... That's adamantine. Oh man, that's the wrong thing. Oh, you can't really blame me. It looks just like redstone. Yeah, 25% chance of getting Cinnabar. Oh, wait a second, Cinnabar? Yeah, I have a ton of Cinnabar. That's what I got. That's what I got. And is the Cinnabar... Hold on. Uh, Sanguinite usages. Can you use Cinnabar to hopefully get more? Yeah, it looks like it. You combine Cinnabar with the Sanguinite or inside the Induction Smelter. 
And that will give you a 75% chance of getting some rich slag back. Because <laughs> I, was, I was wondering, because whenever I was mining in that cave, I was also getting a bunch of redstone ores. And I was like, do I really have only two rich slag? But we have a ton of cinnabar. Yeah, we had 18 cinnabar. Man. Anyways, I'm not afraid. Let's just do it. Let's just throw all eight of them up inside. Actually, hold on. I think... I think... I just want to confirm, but I think I sent them all up to the geologist already. Yes. Oh, wait. Adamantine. <gasps> it plus 18 measure. Don't mind if I do. Oh, man. Mithril or, or Calicum and at Atlaris. Maybe I can find that in the cave, too. Anyways. Uh, sanguine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I already sent in some sanguine. Okay. Now I can give this some cinnabar and let it smell. Oh, slack. There you go. Wait, what's the difference between slag and rich slag? Like, what can I use regular slag for? Uh, florbs, uh, rock wool. Well, that's how you get that stuff. I, I I know I've seen rock wool before because I was looking up like wool, and that stuff showed up. So, and you can also make clay out of it too. Huh? Interesting stuff. Anyways, <gasps> oh my god, up to twelve sanguinite <gasps> for rich slag. Oh, baby, baby. Five. I think it didn't update there for a second. That's why it looked. That's, that's why I went from zero to four. And up to six. Rich slag. Oh my! I assume you can do it with uh, adamantine as well, right? Uh, rich slag. Cinnabar. Yeah, three adamantine. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's do that. Adamantine. Uh, vulcanite. Yeah, we can put the vulcanite up. Uh, diamonds. I think. I don't think there's a. What do you get? Triple diamonds. Double diamonds and the pulverizer. Yeah, okay. Double diamonds and double... We're going to get 16 diamonds, though, so can't complain about that, Hater. Jeez. We got all this rich slag. That's good stuff. And we got three more cinnabar from the uh, the redstone that we just uh, put inside the pulverizer. So, man, we are doing well, well, well. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Whoops. One, two. We're going to have 16 sanguinite left over. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking here. Sanguinite. Remember we saw this MLG armor. MLG armor. It looks like, uh, what's it called? The Japanese... The, the... What are they called? I, I am drawing a blank right now. <laughs> the, it kind of looks like a samurai outfit or something, you know? Like, look at that thing. I don't know. That is epic. Uh, yeah, you, you craft it the same as anything else. The pick is mining level epic. Is that? We have extreme right now. Is that lower? Is epic lower than extreme? I don't know what the uh, the hierarchy of the of the pickaxes and stuff are. Oh, sanguine robes. Binding ritual. Robes imbued with for forbidden power. <gasps> Blood magic stuff. Sanguine helmet. Oh, that gives you. So what is this binding ritual? I guess we have to go do some uh, some blood magic stuff if we want to learn about that, but that's some interesting stuff. How do we make the sanguinite uh, the gear that we need for the... Let's look it up in the uh, Thomcraft thing. Thomonomicon. Where's that? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Thaumaturgy. Artifice. Nope. Alchemy. Here we go. <laughs> Dawn Machine. Oh, see. Did I, did I misread that the whole time? <laughs> see, Nallium! Signalium, not saying what. Oh man, oh man, I am sorry, you guys. I am stupid. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the little journey we went on. But Signalium or Signalum? How do you get that then? I was wondering because there's no gears there. Signalum, there is right there. Uh, Signalum and get, and I think that's like a what's it called? A blend, yeah. Destabilize resin with them. That's cheap. That's cheap. We have copper. We have silver. And of course, destabilize. I think we're still, yeah, still have destabilized redstone right there. So, get a bucket. Uh, I made a ton of buckets, by the way. I still have eleven buckets. I still have milk inside of them. <laughs> so uh, we have more than enough to get the destabilized redstone and, and copper and or Cooper copper. There you go, copper. We have a lot of copper. What, what was the other thing we needed? Uh, tin or what was it? Signalium. Signalium blend. Silver. We have silver too. Uh, yeah, there's... Oh, we've got it, you guys. We've got it. And uh, that just leaves more sanguinite for us to use for possible armor. 
Ooh, and a ton of adamantine there too. Man. Okay, well, let's put the capper up. Let's, let's take like half of that. Take like half of that. Let's give ourselves a oh, wait. Set of water. There you go. Is that going to make it? Uh, oh, no, man. I am stupid. Why am I always trying to use the, uh, the induction smelter? <laughs> let's try and make it over here. So you need to get the destabilized redstone. Let's use another bucket to get another. Uh, yeah, because there's one more bucket's worth. Let's get the signalium ingot. Should be able to make that. There's the blend. There we go. That's going to get us four. And we're going to need... Yeah, just two two crafts of this, and that's it. We've got it, you guys. This is cheap, 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 because you just throw it inside of the, the redstone furnace, and boom. ba 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 boom You've got it. There you go. And what was the lumium thing? It was, it was glowstone? With the... It was basically the same stuff, but glowstone. And now that's empty, so... Glowstone. One, gl one glowstone block gives you a thousand millibuckets, I think. Let's get ourselves two glowstone blocks. Throw it inside the magma crucible. There you go. Let that smelt. How much is that actually? Uh, is that going to tell me? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Because one, uh, one glowstone dust is 250 millibuckets. And that times four is going to be a thousand. So, wait, why is that? Wait, did that go? Oh, it is. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> Energized glowstone bucket. Nice. Okay, perfect. And ba-boom. <laughs> Let's try and make the, uh, what is it called? Aluminum. Loom, loom -um. There you go. I think I'm going to make these uh, these ingots or uh, th these gears real quick, and then I'll end the episode. And then between this episode and next episode, I will. There you go, aluminum and what? What am I missing? Silver? No, there you go. Yep, I've got enough. <laughs> between this episode and next episode, I am going to get some of the aspects that we're going to need for the Dawn Machine. Air, Arbor. I think I still have Arbor, Orum. Oh, it's only eight of those. I have Cognito, I have Urba, Ignis, Machina, Ordo, Sena, Vacuos. If anything, Vacuos is the only thing we probably don't have, so... You guys, I, th I, th I think we've got it! Oh yeah, and of course we're going to need the, uh, the engineering processor and the redstone energy flux duct. So let's see, redstone energy flux duct. What's it called? Flux? God, I can't spell. What's it called? Hardened flux duct? Redstone? Oh wait. Uh, redstone energy flux duct. Redstone energy flux duct. Wait, what? How do you make, uh... How do you make this, then? Electrum and harding glass. That's cheap! Okay. Well, this episode's getting really, really, really long, so I don't want to bore you guys out. <laughs> Anyways, next time we come back, uh, hopefully we're going to be able to make the Dawn Machine, mount it to our ship, uh, get the two Silverwood, uh, like... I think we're going to need to make two, like... What are they called? Piles of silver wood? I don't know, a stack like this. <laughs> We're gonna need to place three on top like that, like tree trunks or something. Put the Dawn Machine in the middle and that's gonna make it work. What is the upgrade? Given air essentia, the Dawn Machine will, will go from 128 squares, or, or it'll increase to 128 squares from 64 squares, and it will still load in all the affected chunks, but it'll be a little bit slower because it's, it's, uh, it's cleaning up a much bigger area. So that is really, really appealing to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out. So you don't miss an episode. I am still, I am still just freaking out about how what happened with the, the Ritual of Gaia earlier in the episode. Man, that is just crazy. That was so lucky. But thank you guys all very much for watching. And I will see you guys here next time with some more Blightfall, where we are going to finally, hopefully, make the Dawn Machine. Oh, bye there.